Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are going to be looking at some hard drives Here on top of the trusty Lenovo X3650 Model 4 I have some Hewlett Packard drives and these are 10 terabytes um, all of them, they are 10 terabyte SAS drives they are 7200 RPM drives and these has, um, well they have um, they have marked themselves as bad in Hewlett Packard servers so um, I'm gonna check them out and see if they are really that bad in a production environment if a hard drive says that it's bad well you trust it that it's bad and you don't mess around with it but uh, at my home setup here I want to be very sure that it's bad I have actually already tested this one and it is bad but it's bad in a really weird and irritating way it's just extremely slow so it works but it's extremely slow it's like if I put this drive in the server the server will well it will take 20 minutes just to boot because it's so busy trying to read the data on this hard drive but I was able to to partition it and format it and I could also save some files on it and part of that was okay saving some files on it was fast enough so no problem there and reading them again I could do that as well but when the system needs to communicate with it well, it's very very slow. So, um, I have marked it with a little B down there, so it's uh, bad. So, but I have these two other ones that I want to check how they are. And you can see they come out of a Hewlett Packard uh, tray here. Uh, the screws has been removed on this one, so it's just take that out and put it over here with the other trays. So, yeah. Um, I did a little ninja hack on this server down here. So, um, well, ninja hack and ninja hack. I took the drives out there, up there, just so that we only have the drives that we're gonna be messing with. And um, as these drives, I can kind of just pop them in there. I could unscrew one of the drives over there and uh, and take the, the tray out of there, but I can also just pop it in like that. And that is very easy. So on the screen here, this one pops up right away. So that's always a good thing. So we can kind of online it. And then it wants to be initialized. And we will pick GPT. Okay. And then we can make a simple volume on it. Let's do that. Just hmm, let's call it something. Formatting and it did that. This is fairly quick. The other one, the really slow one, well, that was a good half hour to format that. So, this one definitely does not have the same error. So far, we haven't found anything bad. Crystal disk info here, unfortunately, does not see SAS drives. I don't know if it's the version that I have here, but. Well, it doesn't pop up, and I have seen this before, that SAS drive, <laughs> don't want to do it. So I went and I got another piece of software that will probably do something. So um, this is Alto Disk Benchmark, so we can pick the 10 terabyte disk here and we can start a test. So um, we can at least see if it performs well enough. And it's going to give us the write speed and the read speeds uh, and tell us how it's doing down here and how fast this disk is and I am curious I have seen some really good numbers out of uh, spinning disks especially uh, some 14 terabyte disks that I uh, that I tested out look at that we're getting 150 megabytes per second read speed uh, already and oh we are over 200 megabytes per second that's that's pretty good for a spinning disk
Okay, that was pretty good. Let's see, we get 235 megabytes per second. Is that the highest? I believe so. Yeah, that's almost half the speed of a uh, of an SSD. So that is not bad. The L2 software here doesn't seem to show us much more than that. But just the fact that it completed that test without any issues is, is a good thing. Oh, there's an IO here. Okay. Oh, we get a we get kind of a lot of IOs. It must be the cache that we are we are getting good IOs from here. <laughs> the next little tool I'll test the drive on here is HD uh, Tune, which sees this drive as a 2.19 gigabyte drive. Doesn't see that very accurately, so let's uh, stop that. And it, it kind of agrees with the speeds, it seems. Okay, another test almost done. Uh, a little random read-write thing here. But we got up to 242 megabytes per second, kind of maximum peak thing. Oh, and it actually claims that it can do 331 megabytes in a boost rate. Awesome! But I do believe that HD Tune has some more information here. You can see some smart data, but it doesn't show me much there. Wonder how long this takes. I'll try and run this and see if it uh, if it finds anything bad. Okay, as you can see, it has been running for a while. Actually, 67 minutes here. And um, this is the amount that it has done. It has done just under a terabyte. Uh, that means that this will take 12 hours or something like that. And I must admit that uh, right now I don't have that time. So I will um, I'll stop it. But so far it's all good. It has 0% bad blocks so far. But uh, yeah, I don't have 12 hours at the moment to, to let this run. So we'll stop that. And unfortunately it doesn't really show anything over here. That would have been great if it would have given me an indication of how the drive is doing. But it does not. Eh. So I think we will say that this drive is not it's not doing too badly. So I'll I'll go on and I'll try the other one a little bit. I'll put that up here. And then take this one. Which is the other one that I needed to check. Pop that in. There. And the server does not like well that I take a drive out. It, it complains about that. Under normal circumstances that would be okay. Um, actually it, it liked the new drive that I put in. That's kind of weird. So we're gonna try and open here. Oh right click and disk management C. Oh we have another drive. It's awesome when they actually show up. So we're gonna online that. We're gonna initialize that. Same as before. I'm gonna make a symbol volume. Give it a new name. There. I'm gonna repeat the test that I did on the other one. So uh, let's try the, the Alto one first. Okay, I ran the Alto diagnostics here. Uh, there is a really low one down here, like 48 megabytes uh, read, and that's really bad. Um, I'm gonna start it over and see if we get another result, but there are some really good results there. 240 megabytes per second, there and there. And also over here, 238 megabytes per second, uh, write speed, that is awesome. I don't know if that's just the cache helping out or if it's actually the hard drive doing that, but yeah, very good numbers, except that one. So we'll do this again. Okay, that's a shame. Can you see what I see? Uh, sometimes the speed is really bad. 
there's like tree here where it's awful compared to the normal thing so uh, yeah I think we might have an issue here but let's do it again okay it ran another test and this looks like to be a perfect run everything looks great and good and jolly so and we even got some good numbers 240 megabytes per second and nothing bad at all um, I'm gonna do it again okay another perfect run hmm okay let's try something else then okay I downloaded the the pro version of hard disk tune it's just a trial version I have 15 days to uh, to test my hard drive but might just be enough time <laughs> so um, yeah maybe it can even give me some of the other data but let's have this run first Okay, this doesn't look terrible. It starts out really well, but it, it drops off. I think it tests across the hard drive from one end to the other and tests if it stores the data. This could be furthest out on the disk and this could be closest to, um, to the center of it. So the performance would go down because less data is on each track. Ah, it's just a theory. So let's go info. update hmm. error scan we're not gonna do that it took too long disk monitor yeah this one has a lot more data weird that this doesn't work supported features no support hmm. there is actually a really simple command to uh, well, to get smart data out of your uh, your hard drive in, in Windows, so it's a it's a kind of a dash command. So uh, I have two hard drives in here, and it tells me that status is okay and okay. So um, I guess it's okay. <laughs> okay, I think the two first hard drives there, the one that we tested, are good enough. This one is the one that I've marked with a B for bad. So let's try and pop that in and see. Uh, how um, how that looks when it's when I found it bad. So firstly, I have popped it in. It um, it's thinking about it. It hasn't sh it hasn't showed up here in Disk Manager yet. Eventually, I think it will show up in here. It's it's thinking about it. So it is in there, and it still hasn't popped up. <laughs> now would be a good time for it to pop up. Come on. Okay, so the 10 terabyte test here has popped up and it is the slow bad one. It was actually so slow that the server 2022 had started the screen server and gone black. So I didn't see it for a little bit. But I think let's, um, let's run a test on it. Let's do the Alto thing. Okay, so I have uh, opened that. So let's start it. See what it figures out. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. It's clear to see that there is something not right here, but it's actually not as as bad as I thought. It um, It's way faster at writing data to the drive than it is reading. It's not a good drive. Okay, so it's, it's running um, HD Tune Pro 5.75. Um, and to start with it was all over the place it went all the way down to 10 megabytes per second which is <laughs> very slow so, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not very good it's <laughs> aborted <laughs> read error test aborted yeah it's all over the place when it gets to there so that's not great definitely a bad drive Let's see what Windows thinks about this. If, um, if it thinks that the smart data is okay. <laughs> smart data is okay, but the drive, uh, not so much. Something is not okay. Yeah, so that hard drive is not very good. Um, it does show up green over here though, when it, 
I'm trying to run this error scan again and um, with the pro version here it actually shows up as a 10 terabyte and it, it kind of gives me a realistic view of how long it's gonna take it has been running for 18 minutes and it's gotten that far before on the other version all of the blocks here was about 2.2 terabytes now it's 10 terabytes so yeah it is doing something but that drive is too um, unpredictable to use for anything sometimes i take the drive and i fill it up with my backup and a good 10 terabyte like that would be able to store a lot of backup so it's like a backup backup like if something goes horribly wrong with for example the three backups that i already have of my video data um then you could have this backup 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 thing in the in the vault um, and even though it's a horrible drive you might be able to get some data off it at that point it's just a matter of having an extra copy of something even if the drive is dutchy as heck <laughs> at the end here i think i will promote bargain hardware have you heard about them i think i might have mentioned them but if you're in the market for getting yourself a new server or upgrading the server that you already have some new cpu some ram some stuff well bargain hardware in the uk is a very nice place to get that they have the best service for a broker that i've come across anywhere and the prices are reasonable there is a little bit of a challenge for us in the eu now getting stuff over because we now have to pay import taxes and stuff but still they have great prices and it's not worth them getting anything from the us so uh, yeah do check out bargain hardware and uh, if you use the coupon code my playhouse you get five percent off of your purchase and if you buy something big that might just be the shipping that i saved you there so yeah thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye